So now, 24 minutes past the hour, illegal immigrant children crossing the border into the U.S. at the highest rate we have seen since last summer. More than 3,000 children coming across the Mexican border last month. More than 15,000 children have been captured in the past six months. Now, at the same time, nearly 14,000 families have been taken into custody. A Lou Dobbs, host of Lou Dobbs Tonight on a sister network and the Fox Business Network, and good morning to you. Morning, Bill. What's going on now? I mean, we had this last year, and it's happening yet again. Why? The executive amnesty fiat is an incentive for folks to cross that border. And we have two things ha happening simultaneously. We have the incentive of the uh, administration's uh, invitation to children to come across the border, uh, which is exactly what he has done. Uh, secondly, we have a border that is utterly uh, unsecure. Uh, the Border Patrol is in withdrawn positions. They're not capturing as many, apprehending as they refer to it, apprehending as many uh, of the illegal immigrants. And the result is this surge. And the surge appears to be just beginning. Now, you point out from October 1st till, uh, through last month that we've seen 15,000 of these unaccompanied minors, but we've also seen a little over 13,000 uh, single adults, usually mothers, traveling with children coming as well. But that is actually down from a year ago, but it is building, and it has everyone now expecting a full-on surge as we witnessed last summer. Well, you know, listen, the nights are getting warmer, the weather is getting better, and Absolutely. some believe now is the better time to travel. But remember last year when we were told that the bad economies and the gang violence in Honduras, El Salvador, and Guatemala sparked this surge? Yeah, we, and later we were told that wasn't the case. <laughs> Human traffickers, they were marketing the yeah. Journey and pointing to the loophole in the U.S. immigration system. They know what our laws say and don't say. They are behaving far more uh, rationally and they are operating a lot smarter than the U.S., uh, the uh, you know, Border Protection, the Border Patrol Customs agents. They're being held back by the administration. Immigration and Customs Enforcement, which handles interior enforcement against illegal immigration and those who traffic in them. Uh, have been pulled back. They can't even go after these folks, and it is creating a, uh, it's a huge morale problem. But in point of fact, our laws are not being enforced, our borders are wide open, and, and frankly, I mean, we're even flying in the children of families that do make it in here illegally. We as taxpayers under this administration has decided the Obama uh, fly plan flying those children in at taxpayer expense to be with their families. And you think we're just at the beginning of this oh, next absolutely. phase? Absolutely. Now. It de you know, a lot depends on where we're, what we see happen with the, uh, the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals, uh, what happens It's with deciding the, what? It's deciding whether or not to maintain the uh, injunction against the amnesty fiat that was delivered by uh, Judge Andrew Hangnan, uh, and. You know, but already 100,000 illegal immigrants had moved in under, under that executive order of the president. And by the way, they did that against the uh, judge's wishes and without his knowledge. Well, these Not are, a these, bright move. Remember, these are children, and it's a dangerous, dangerous thing. It's a terrible thing. thing. It, 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 it is, and what's really dangerous is that we've got a government uh, that's not accountable to anyone right uh, now. I know you'll talk more about this later tonight on Fox Business. Yes, sir. Thank you, Lou. We'll see you soon, okay? Great to see you. All right. You